It's one of the biggest and greatest chainsaw carving events in the world, and thousands of people are drawn to Chetwin every year to take part. But 2015 is proving to be a difficult year for the Chetwin International Chainsaw Carving Event and the Chetwin Chamber of Commerce, who is organizing this event, all because attracting sponsors has been a challenge this year. With all the economic downturn that's happening in our region, we did lose about $20,000. With that being said, we are usually at least have all our sponsorship money in the bank account to plan this event. And this year there were sitting at $30,000 right now, shortfall. So we had to make the decision how far do we go in planning this event. The chamber went to speak with the district of Chetwin last week to discuss the challenges they are facing with this event and to see what other options are available to them. The chamber right now cannot bankroll this event. It is a district event and has always been funded through the district of Chetwin. They are giving us $40,000 towards the event with the grounds that we do bring in thirty dollars to $40,000 through sponsorship. The chamber says they don't have the money to put forward and say the district isn't releasing their contributions until June. So event organizers are working in overtime to make up for the loss in sponsorship. In past years, the chamber had already raised $50,000 by this time, but this year, they are only sitting at $10,000. The total cost of the event is $86,000, but the chamber says they trimmed down to $70,000 this year by cutting some of the cost. From where it started in 2005, it's just astounding how much it's changed. And the community, the community pride, having this event and hosting this event, he said that the support I'm getting from the community is ridiculous. They are just, we can't let this die. The chamber will be meeting with mayor and council on Monday to discuss the future of the event. Faisal means CJDC-TV News, Fort St. John.